Hey y'all, I have one comment, and that is that dating in your 40s sucks. As a man in his 40s who is currently dating, I will vehemently disagree with her statement. Dating in your 40s does not suck if you are a man, but it does suck if you are a woman, right? And the reason why it sucks if it is when you're a female, especially in your 40s, is because you have such a shrinking pool of options to choose from, right? You have such a shrinking pool of options, yet you have not lowered your standards one bit, right? And this is a problem that I see with a lot of females who are still single well into their 40s, even their 50s, is they still have the standards that they did back when they were in their early 20s. And now that you're in your 40s, you can't keep those same standards. It's like a professional athlete or say like a yeah, professional athlete demanding that he get that same $100 million contract that he got when he was 22 years old at 42. <laughs> Nobody's gonna give him that type of money. He will be lucky if somebody just pays him league minimum to stay on their roster as a third or fourth string backup. Right, but you're not going to be able to get the same deals that you were when you were much younger. But that is the problem with a lot of these females who are still single into their middle ages. Right? They have just this insane level of expectation to get the same level of hot guys that they did when they were much, much younger, much hotter, much thinner. Right? less wrinkles, less crow's feet, they still expect that same level of guy and you have to be realistic. Okay? And the problem is a lot of these girls too have had these, <laughs> these insane talk shows like The Real, have you guys seen that one lately? That's so, so ridiculous. The Real, The View, and all of these, um, you know, like Amy Schumer, all of these like female celebrities in their ear telling them, don't settle girl, don't settle, you deserve the best. You deserve a high value man. You deserve the best quality man out there and never settle girl, never settle for less. And you know what, that is just such unrealistic advice that is going to keep you single well into your 60s and into your 70s. If you want a man, if you want somebody to come home to, somebody to cuddle up with, somebody to take vacations with, somebody to enjoy life with, guess what? You gotta start lowering your expectations the older you get, okay? The older you get, the more you have to lower that, those expectations as a female. Because if you don't, you're just gonna be cursed to wander the dating wastelands for the rest of your days, as many women who are in their middle ages and beyond that do. If you don't want to end up being out there middle age like a lot of your peers are, your older peers are, just wandering the, the dating wastelands, you know what? You want to lock down that high value guy when you are at your prime, okay? When you have the most power to do so, and that is in your 20s. No different than a professional athlete, right? His agent, professional athlete's agent tells him the same thing. He says, hey, you know what, right now you're 22, 23, we gotta get the biggest contract we possibly can right now from your team owner. We're gonna hold out, we're not gonna show up for, to the first couple of games until he gives in and he gives us this $100 million contract. And he knows, the agent knows, this is the only time in your career you're, you're ever gonna be able to get this type of money. And I tell the same thing to young women, it's like you're a professional athlete, especially if you're hot, you're a professional athlete in your early 20s, that is the time to take advantage, okay? It's not the time to chase your career. It's not the time to jump on the CC and get an annual pass, a 10-year annual pass. No, now is the time to lock that guy down. If you don't, the more guys you rack up, the higher body count you get, the more guys you sleep with, the less high-value guys are gonna want you. And that is the truth. That's what the mainstream doesn't want to tell you. It's like the more guys you sleep with, the more guys you rack up by riding the carousel, the more you're going to repel high value guys, right? Guys who have a life, guys who have 
success, you're going to start to repel those guys. And this is why I say it gets worse and worse the older you get because the more you kind of like sleep around with these random men you meet on like Bumble or, you know, or Tinder or whatever, and the older you get, the more wrinkles you get, the less value you have in the dating marketplace, right? The less value you have. And then you end up being in your 40s like this female is, right? This woman is uh, complaining about how dating sucks. Dating sucks. Dating sucks in your 40s. It doesn't suck. You just didn't settle, right? And you know what? I'm going to play devil's advocate here. You still can be happy, right? You can still be happy, but you have to lower your standards, okay? You have to lower your standards, stop chasing the chads, and start going for the brads, right? You have to lower your standards, and you have to come to grips with the fact that you are no longer 22 years old. You're 42 years old, or you're 52 years old. You have to lower your standards. You know, so those guys that used to kick in the nuts and say like, ew, gross, gross. You know what? Maybe he's not so gross. Maybe he's an actually a good guy, you know, and he likes you and he wants to be with you and he's willing to overlook your age. Sure, he's not going to have, you know, the value of, you know, the alpha chat or a high value guy. He's not going to have like that kind of backbone to put you in your place and, you know, have boundaries and have this successful business where he's traveling the world you know, running a pickup company or anything like that. But he's going to treat you right. He's going to be there when you come home at night. You're going to have somebody to cuddle with, somebody to go to the movies with, and somebody to spend your life with. But you know what? You got to lower your standards. That is the biggest problem I see with these leftover women that are still out there well into their 40s and 50s that cannot find a man, can't find their forever man. Your biggest problem is your standards are too high, okay? You gotta start lowering your standards. You gotta be more realistic, okay? There are things you can do to work on to improve yourself. You can join a gym, get more fit, improve your diet, try to be a little more feminine. That's a big one, right? Just be a little more feminine. Find a very good, like, smelling perfume, right? Try to look more feminine. Try to be less masculine. Try to be less overbearing where you're set in your ways and this is the way it's got to be be a little more flexible stop being so rigid be more flexible and you know what you're going to be able to get a pretty decent guy even in your 40s okay you'll be able to get a decent guy he'll probably be a little bit older he might be balding a little bit he might be have a little bit of a belly you know what but he'll be a good guy he'll be a good guy you won't have to worry about him like banging these 22 year old hotties, right? You won't have to worry about that. So there are some positives here. There are some positives. You won't have to worry about him like running off and you know, getting the new guest model like to have sex with him. No, you don't have to worry about that. Your man is probably not gonna go anywhere and he will be yours and yours to keep if you just lower your standards a bit. So ladies, dating in your 40s does not suck. It sucks because you make it suck, you know? sucks because you make it suck. You have the wrong outlook towards it, right? And you have to come to grips with the fact that you're not 22 years old anymore. You're 42 and you have baggage. You have emotional baggage. You have mental baggage. You are way too set in your ways. You gotta be more flexible. And you might even have a kid. You might even be a single mom like many women are, which lowers your value even more. That lowers your value pretty badly, right? And if you want some guy, if you want to have a partner, a dating partner, who you're at least a little bit attracted to, because you're going to have to settle. I hate to tell you, you will have to settle. You know, there's worse things in the world. You have to settle. You can't get the high value guy. You have to settle a bit. He'll be a bit older, a bit, you know, a bit fatter, a bit more out of shape. That's okay. He won't have as good of a job, but at least he'll have a job, right? At least he'll have a job especially if he's in his 40s. He's at least financially, he's not living under a cardboard box under the freeway, right? At least you'll have a man, but you have to lower your standards. Stop going for these chads, stop being delusional and start being realistic. That is my advice. And as always guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of her little rant there about how dating in her 40s sucks, as well as other women just like her who tend to rant about this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know what you think of my own retort to her complaint. 
love to see you guys in my comments. I know you guys will have a lot to say about this and I can't wait to read them and I can't wait to see them. So I'll see you down in the comments below. So I'm gonna wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Do it for the DeLorean. Smash that like button below for the DeLorean. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Helps me out a ton when you subscribe, so please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay? Helps me out with the YouTube algorithm because they're definitely not helping me anymore. Uh, I need your help. So subscribe to my channel. Share my videos with your buddies. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further, stainless steel pill content, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all over the world are out there approaching and closing every single day, every single week, no matter what type of racial division is going on in the world, no matter what type of virus is going on in the world, we are out there making things happen 24-7, just living our lives and having fun and taking no prisoners. And I want you to be a part of that. Okay, life is short. I want you to be part of it. I want you to learn how to do it. And right now, the first month is only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons in seven months to mastery, which is a very, very, very valuable program. I highly recommend you join. It's only $1 for the entire first month of content. So take advantage of it. And it only takes two seconds to sign up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.